All right, hello everyone, and welcome to Mountain Blade Bannerlord. So it's been out a little while now, um, and I've been holding off doing a campaign series on it because they had a lot of bugs. Um, and uh, one of the main things was that companions just weren't worth having and skills took far too long to train up. The beta branch they had out fixed a lot of those issues, and that beta branch has literally just been pushed alive. Um, so here we go, campaign. Let's get started. So, decisions we kind of made. I want archery. I would like two-hand, but two-hand is going to be very difficult because you just get peppered. But I'm kind of willing to give it a try. Let's see. So, 20% more upgrade XP. That's nice, but... Penalty for... no. Destruction speed to town projects will repairs and siege engines. Siege time is an annoying problem when you're actually trying to take something. As arise, trade penalty and caravans. I was never actually convinced that works and they've changed it so caravans now get jumped by bandits a lot more. So that's not as strong as it used to be. Extra speed bonus for horsemen on campaign map. I tend to have a mixed army of infantry and archers taking up about... 75% of my army, so maybe not. Forests give 10% less speed penalty to parties. Hey, that's very specific. I think Landia, just for the general. 20% more upgrade XP to troops from battles is huge. So, so huge. Also, I don't know why the background music has just vanished for this bit. Apparently, they don't want background music when you're um, creating. All right, let's see what we get. Let's play with the randomizer. We're gonna whack the height up to like massive, oh, Afro, no, can't do it. No. Mm. Oh, let's just take that and mess with it, shall we, rather than sitting here forever. You gonna play the voice? Fire! Hold your ground! Pull the line! Keep your ground! Charge! Man the ladder! Back! We'll go with voice three. Uh, right. We've got to have some sort of epic beard, surely. I just done randomize all, haven't I? <laughs> we'll try that again. That's not really changing the beard there, guys. Ah, that's because it's this one. I mean, why not? Where's Epic Beard? What do we want? We got the... No, no. Where's the, where's the silly mustache? No, not silly enough. Not silly enough. Get in there. No. Sounds good to me. Let's put on a mustache. There we go. That'll do. We'll keep the stupid eye makeup as well. Alright, choose your family. So, skills-wise, I want... Crossbow. I'm going to go two-handed. I want two-handed. I'm going to go two-handed. Not crossbow. Regular bow. Two-handed bow and two sets of arrows is my plan. If it ends up that one of those sets of arrows ends up getting replaced with a pole arm just to make something vaguely viable, we'll go with that. I'm going to try and avoid a shield. I'm going to try and avoid a shield. No. No. Do I want cunning? I mean, tactics is for um, when you do the simulation battles, mostly, I think. I'd rather have a... Scouting's annoying as well. I'd rather have companions that cover those areas. So I'm going to avoid cunning, I think. Social and... See, steward is good. 
But then we could just assign people to the estate to be a steward. And medicine, we can have someone. Okay, social, endurance, control, and vigor are all we want, really. I don't particularly want smithing, but it gives me the two hander I want. And as Hovis says in chat, we can always take a shield when we're doing a siege if we want to use it to run up to the walls. I'm also tempted to give athletics a try rather than being on a horse all the damn time. Right. Uh, we decided we didn't want cunning. Do I really want four vigor? How does attention to detail get you athletics? Surely that would be brawn. I guess though brawn for javelins does kind of make sense. I'm going to go with social. Just so it sort of gets some points in there. Uh, why is the character female? I missed something. Anyway. Um, control for art. That's crossbows, not archery. I don't know why I always get those mixed up. See again, no athletics. That gets you a bit of athletics, and also some smithing, and another vigor point. I don't think I want. I'm not liking where these stats are ending up. Let's go back. Wrong way back one. No. Fine, we'll do that one. Right, that would get us the... Aha! Skirmish just gets us the bow and the control point. So that's a given. Now, right, before you set out, Adventurer, your biggest achievement was... No... I guess another point in archery, so we survived a siege. But I do need endurance point. That gets me athletics. Yeah, go on then. I had a famous escapade. And then we drove them off with arrows. Gets us that last point in control and an extra point in archery. A point in tactics isn't horrible. Right. Name is obviously going to be Malekith. So we're from Valandia. We're an urban blacksmith. We have a way with people. We worked at the docks and building sites. We joined the skirmishers. We had a famous escapade and we drove them off with arrows. Yeah, we start with javelins. Good point. I mean, sure. Um, what do we want? See, friendly parties just get themselves killed stupidly, so I'm going to give them some damage reduction. I'm going to keep that there, because if you have it over here, you just get... You spend forever just training up troops that immediately get murdered. But that are realistic, I think. Maybe one down so I can mix it up a little bit and actually have some fun. Recruitment, movement, because I don't want to chase people around all day. Oh, that's changed. Um, screw it, why not? We're not going to enable death, and I'll sort out the perks myself. You can always change things later. It's got to get a mix between enjoyable and interesting. I'm quite happy to have 1v1 combat in like tournaments and stuff be difficult, but I don't want to spend all day recruiting new people because my elite units get picked off by someone with a rock. Uh, let's skip the tutorial. 
Also, what is going on here? This is like a crazy version of male pattern baldness. Alright, set up the family name. Oh, no, we've got to pick a banner now. Um, I'm going to go... I'll say blue, but this is me. That could be purple for all we know. Um, that looks like an Imperial Eagle. Oh, it's got to be the dog. Shame we can't recruit any. Although people want the running dog. Hmm. I don't know. I think I prefer that one, to be honest. Just it... That looks a bit plain and dull. That's slightly more interesting. Okay. Um, oh, yay. Now we've got this fun start situation. Um, right. So we've got a skill point to assign. I've already got two points in bow. Let's put an extra one in two-handed. Uh, inventory. So we have an iron arming sword and two sets of simple javelins. Sumter horse. Which Dave now. Yep. So they, one of the new icons is that one in the middle on the Sumter horse, which says it increases the party's carrying capacity as opposed to being a, a speed horse. So that's something to look out for. Uh, we have no party. Got a quest to rebuild the clan. Right, I'm going to head down to the city and see if there's a tournament. I mean, ideally what I want to do is actually get up into the Batanian territories for their tournaments, because they're the two-handed tournaments that I might actually succeed in. At all. Yeah. Uh, trade. Can we get a bow? Not without costing us a fortune. How much do these sell for? Uh... Right, let's work this out. So, five, six, seven, eight. So it's about 900 for the bow and a set of arrows. And um, no, we can't afford that yet. And that's a one handed sword. Game. Why do this? Why give me all the stuff I can't use properly? <laughs> Thanks. All right. Um, now let's recruit. Who's who's stolen all the peeps? It's gonna be you, isn't it? Stuart just managed to get a not enough video memory in this game and he's running dual 1080 Ti's. I'm on a 1070 and I've never had that. What are you doing? So the area I like starting in normally is up here because there's nearly always some um, sea bandits along the coastlines and they drop some reasonable gear. It's quite a nice quick way of leveling up. Also, there's two main cities up there that you can bounce between to find uh, tournaments. And usually they're the kind of tournaments I go for, which is the um, Flandian style sort of mounted uh, with a lance because that's the kind of character I usually play. I'm mixing it up for this video. Um, it's definitely not my comfort zone, the format I'm gone for this time. Got four days till there's no more food. Could do with finding some looters to bash on. Go to the arena. No, still no fight there. It's unusual. I normally run straight into fights everywhere. 
Alright, that's probably about all the recruits I should be trying to afford. For now, I need to get some get some kills in. Isn't there, like, I'm sure I remember seeing a comment somewhere about there being a back alley where you can go fight people in the towns. You get money for them. But I don't remember actually ever seeing a place called back alley to go to. So maybe I'm misremembering that. If someone in chat knows otherwise, please let me know and I will see if that's a way we can get some cash in. Well, 19 looters. Mm, is that going to be 19 plus 6? Yes, it is. This, uh, this could get messy. This could get very messy indeed. Um... Yeah, we know how to move, game. Alright. I'm gonna take some damage doing this, I think. I was gonna ride ahead and lob a few of these at people. Some of them will be ranged. And it will be extremely annoying. Cut them down! Oh man, that voice is grating. Oh. Apparently a javelin's not enough damage. I mean, that was in his ankle, fair enough. They're running? Alright. Time to come down a bit. Hey, John. with the shot there. This is why I don't like one-handed weapons on horseback. Reach, damn you, reach. They're still running this way. Who are you chasing? Can't see him. That'll do. Alright, we've leveled up some recruits already. I'm gonna go quite heavily onto the archers. And then a couple of footmen. And then we'll take some prisoners. Yay. Right. Stylish headgear number one. Modelled by Malekith here. Uh, are those boots actually any good? No. Hang on. Oh. Oh. Two handed, but it counts as a pole arm. Damn it. Yeah, I would push alt in battle, Chad, but alt's not on my um, gamepad thing. Wow, the blue lighting on my gamepad there getting filtered out by the camera that's filtering out the background. Uh, Tavern District, rent some of my prisoners. Not worth a lot, obviously. And then we'll trade across their crappy equipment. Get me some monies. Can we please have a two-handed sword? No. Of course not. <laughs> two-handed axe. Not for that price. Oh, that's a two-handed hoe. Not quite sure we want to go down that route. 
see in there, we're going to be pole arms. Get ourselves a bow, though. This is going to be a lot of money. No, still can't really afford it. Um, right, let's buy ourselves some food. I got some grain in here. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, arena. Yay, there's a tournament. Watch me get knocked out immediately because I have zero armor and it's going to be in a weapon type that I'm not proficient in. Oh boy, and it's a four way battle. Oh! Hello! How are you still going? Come on, my guy, don't die. I need to take out that one with the shield. Uh, isn't that a lord? He's going to be a right bastard. Friendly guy. You are not making this easier. Oh, dear. Okay. Time to fight a shield bearer. Using a one-handed weapon when I have no one-handed skill. Which means I don't stun when I hit them. Yep, I don't have enough one-handed skill to actually stun them when I hit them because I don't do enough damage. <sighs> we did get through to the next round, though. Oh, so it gives me the sword and shield. Cool, I did 14. Oh, that's much better. We like that one. How are we doing? Right. Ow. Oh, 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 spear, spear. Come here. Can even stab it in the face and the horse doesn't stop. Well, that works. Uh, oh no, one on ones. Oh, at least I got a shield, I guess. It's against a cataphract as well. He's going to have good skills. I have to keep going for the head with the overarm attacks. Ow. Not get caught by too many of those. An equity. All right, this is it for the lance. Come on. Stabbed around my shield, cheeky bagger. Never mind, we got it. Ooh. Nice bit of renown. Gained a lance. Then you get some money normally. I know you can bet on yourself, but I thought they put in a patch that meant you got money as well. Alright, how much is that lance worth? 667. So. We'll have one of them. And, uh, I guess one of them, because it's the only option. Done. We're on our way. Okay. I think... That's probably a good time to bring them into the first episode of this uh, single-player campaign. I'll uh, get to work on the next one soon.